Hi, I'm James the Box Office Artist and welcome back to another tutorial and this one's going to be a lot of fun. Again, really excited for Thor Ragnarok that is coming up or maybe it's out already depending on when you're watching this video. So I thought it would be fun to show you guys how would I, I would approach drawing a Hulk. And as you guys know, I love drawing the Hulk, but this time I want to draw Hulk as he's seen in Thor Ragnarok the Gladiator Hulk and I thought this would be a lot of fun and once again I'm going to show you how I personally would do this starting from the construction how would I would actually construct this figure because it's actually very different from the Thor that I did last week it's big and oversized so how would I approach doing that how would I approach the armor that's actually on an oversized character I think that would be a lot of fun to do today so uh, this video is going to be broken up by construction how I'm going to construct it then uh, the actual uh, putting in the, the details, and then uh, these oh, we'll start to ink. I'll start to ink with them um, very simply, then putting some shadow, and then some advanced inking after that. This is going to be a lot of fun, so let's get started. So tools of the trade, these are tools that I always use. Okay, and like always, whenever I do to my tutorials, I use a Color Pilot Eno Lead. This is a red. And I will not be using a specific pencil, however, I will be using microns. And they vary in sizes from 005 to 08. Also, I will be using a Sharpie, both a thick and a fine point Sharpie. Notice though, you don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing in terms of materials, okay? You don't need to use these materials. In fact, you might be better off just using a regular pencil and regular paper. Now this paper that I'm using, this is a Strathmore Smooth Bristol board. This time I'm working a little bit bigger. This is 11 by 17, but again, doesn't matter what materials you use. Uh, it's all about learning how to draw. So let's get to that right now. So let's get started here, and the way I start drawing the Hulk is the exact same way I approach every drawing. So if you watch any other my uh, figure tutorials, they all start the same. I start off with the head, and I will start with around a sphere, not a circle, a sphere, because I'm always thinking in 3D, right? A sphere here, and then I go into the skeleton, okay? So in this particular case, I'm going to decide where is the shoulders going to go. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe something like that. I think I want his body to come forward a tiny bit. And then as I said before, if one, the shoulders are pointing one direction, the hips will go the other direction. So we got the hips going in another particular way, maybe this way here, like so. Okay, and these little balls at the end, again, those are joints, okay? So maybe I'm gonna have the arm coming out here like this. And then maybe forward, like so. And then maybe I have a, I'll have the hand kind of go behind here, like that. Okay, and then I'm going to have this leg actually come forward. And as you can see, I might even try to foreshorten the joints here, just so I kind of understand what's going on. Okay, and then the foot. So let me just put this up a little bit so you guys can see what I'm drawing here. And then I'm going to draw the other leg, it's probably going to come down like this, and back like so, okay? So now again, sometimes I always change uh, what I want to do with the head. At first I had him looking over here, but now, because everything's kind of angled towards this way, I think I'm, I do want to change his head to where it's more going towards this way. Okay, so again, when I'm doing the head here, I try to find the middle line. Okay, right, right down the center of the head, going around the sphere, and the eye line that goes all the way around the sphere the other way, okay, or the midsection. Okay, and, yeah, and again from here, this is when I'm going to start blocking in the structure, okay? So the upper torso, I'm going to start blocking that in. I'm going to use a another sphere for the upper torso, something like that, okay? And then the pelvis. I can use a little sphere for the pelvis. Go something like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna use a, a couple of circles, kind of figure out where the arms are here, like so. Okay. And maybe another sphere around here. As you can see here, I'm trying to outline where the leg's gonna go, like that. Let's go down here. I'm gonna do the same over here. 
Okay, and this leg's gonna go behind probably. So I'm gonna draw another sphere back like so. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw out these arms. So draw one sphere like this, and one sphere like this. I want this hand actually to come forward. And uh, he he's holding a um, I, um, I'm not sure what it's called. Is that a mace that he's holding? Or a big hammer? Probably a mace. So his hand, probably like this, is that he's going to hold a mace that will go like this. Usually I would have this one to the side, but I'm running out of paper here. <laughs> and then I'm going to draw the other side here. And then maybe the other mace here on that side. Now this arm is pretty interesting because he has a little bit of interesting detail on this arm here. So this is how I would go about starting to rough out his whole body here. Okay, so maybe this leg will be back a little bit more. This leg's coming forward. Okay. He's leaning a little bit so we're going to really see his trapezius muscle back here. Okay. So thinking, this is a very interesting pose to do, so maybe we're gonna do something like that. Okay, so I am just going to take a look at some of the reference that I have here. Okay, so right now, I'm gonna go ahead and start roughing in some of the muscles. Okay, let's always, you know, I could start with the neck, but I think I might start with the chest here, okay? So the collarbone itself will probably go down, like so. And I gotta rough in where I think the chest is gonna go. Now notice here too, like the whole body, like it's in perspective, okay? So his chest is coming forward a bit. So, I want the chest to kind of follow that line going back here like that. Okay. And then we have the, the rib cage here. It we'll goes something like this. Okay. And then the lat muscles, the back muscles, sometimes you see that too back here. So I'm going to actually rough that in a little bit back here. Okay. And usually the Hulk, because, you know, oversized type characters, they have like a smaller head compared to the rest of the body. I might make this just a tiny bit smaller. Not too much, just a tiny bit. And then very, very big trapezius muscles here. The traps, as we call them. Trap muscles. Go like that. And then giant shoulders. That's one thing, like giant, big, muscular uh, characters like the Hulk, they got big shoulders, big chest, big trap muscles, always, okay? And skinny, skinny waist, skinny, skinny waist. Okay. And in this particular instance, because the Hulk, we get to draw in some abs, so I'm just roughing in some abs as we go. Okay, now I'm going to rough in. This is the, the tricep muscle back here. And then this is the bicep. Okay. And then this arm is coming forward. So, okay, so this is the forearm muscle, or forearm. And then big hand is going to hold the mace that we talked about there. Okay, so now let's go to the other side here. Go the other side. Let's construct this arm here. So that's the bicep muscle there. And then the forearm muscle here. Now both hands, they're going to be more like this, like straight. Oops, sorry, straight, straight, going up just so I could fit everything inside uh, the actual paper. Now, if you want to, you could actually sketch this out small. Sketch it out small and then go into Photoshop and try to reshape it so that it will fit your paper exactly. So you're not always trying to like try to make everything fit here. But in this particular instance, I I don't have a lot of time to do that, so I'm just doing it the old-fashioned way here. Okay. And it depends on you how much um, muscles, how big the muscles are. It's really on you at this point. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw in this leg here. It would probably have gigantic quadricep muscles here. Teardrop. And then of course this comes right in front. This will be his front knee. And he has a quad muscle that would go here like this. And he would have another quad muscle that goes a little bit higher, like so. And around like that. And then we have the giant calf muscle behind the leg. I'm not sure. I have to take a look at the reference to see to see how the um, if he's wearing a boot. I don't know right now. I'm not too sure. So right now I'm trying to think if his both feet are on the ground. Right now I did put the other foot on the ground like that. Like so. Okay, so now I'm going to rough in the face. I'm going to rough in the face. Okay, so I'm going to start with the eyebrows here. Character like the Hulk is interesting because what happens is you get the, he has these big, big, big like eyebrow bones above his, his eyes, usually. And then he usually has a teeny, itty, bitty, bitty, itty, teeny, tiny nose that's very, very close. And then the mouth. Then he has a very, very square jaw. Or his face is kind of wide. So usually something like, like that. Now this Hulk is wearing a helmet. So I'm not going to go too detailed. I just need to know kind of where the facial structure is going to be. Like so. Okay. Alright, very, very cool. Okay, I'm liking what I'm seeing here so far. So right now I'm going to rough in some of the cost, actual costume details. So I'm just going to take a look at some reference here just to see what I got here. So he has like this big shoulder pad on this side here with three, I believe, three little protru prot <laughs> protrusions <laughs> coming out for it, kind of like so. And then it would come out like this. And then he has a strap that goes all the way around. Now again, these straps are important because they define volume, really. So the straps have to look like they are going around the body. So they are actually very, very, very important. And then he actually has this other set of straps that go down like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and start roughing in this helmet of his. Now remember. The helmet has to feel like it's on top of the head, on top of the head, not a part of the head, okay? So don't like built it into the skull, it has to go outside the head, okay? So don't be afraid of making these helmets a bit bigger than the head that you drew. Okay, and then we have the furry part that comes up like that, like so. I probably won't do, like he has a bunch of uh, like tattoos on him, I probably won't do those. But maybe something like that, akin to that. Okay, and then I'm actually gonna take a look at the other parts of his outfit here. So he has this big belt buckle, actually. He's got a big belt buckle, so I'm just gonna represent that with a square. And again, I'm just doing this just so I kind of realize where everything is. And it kind of goes around like that. So now I gotta decide and kind of judge how this material, depending on what they are, how they would actually curve, how they would function. Because that's actually pretty important. Okay. And like the Hulk, or like the Thor that we did last week, this Hulk kind of has a loincloth here little bit of a loincloth so I actually come down like this like that then just drawing in some detail here okay just so I know now usually again sometimes um, 
whenever I do images like this, when I'm not giving a tutorial, I wouldn't go this far. I would probably just kind of make it up as I went along. Like for example, like I'll probably rough out this part here, trying to figure out where the straps are going on. Because the Hulk has all these little straps that go on like this. He has, actually has slippers. I'm looking at the reference here. He has slippers. It probably has gigantic toes. Just roughing in the hands. Now before, you know, last week I was talking about how the hands, people draw them a lot smaller than they need, or bigger than they need to be. Hulk's a little uh, different case. Hulk, you could have pretty gigantic hands and it would make sense. It's just the nature of the character that he would have uh, way bigger hands. Okay, and now I'm just gonna rough in, rough in the uh, actual weapons that he has here. Like, so he has a battle ax here. In this axe that he has here, so I have the axe that goes down like this, and because don't have a lot of space, I make sure the axe kind of comes in like like so. Okay, so it's on an angle, so it makes sense. And then the other side has the big hammer. The hammer here has it's it's in a very very interesting shape. The hammer here. I might have to break out my ellipse guides for the hammer. You know the hammer? Can't touch this. Do, 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 do. Okay, so the hammer itself is a really, really, really interesting shape. Might be too small, actually. So I drew it too small. If you think of me, it'll make it even bigger, but up here. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna draw the top of the hammer first before I actually attaching it to the hand. So, I can't find my eraser again. Always forgetting my stuff. But keep in mind the perspective, so I might go back up here like this, like so. And down like that. And then I will bring this back, and now I'm going to conform the hand to the actual axe itself. So the hand wouldn't be like that, the hand would be down. Now if I had an eraser, it would be easier to see. But something like that. That would be better. Now, look at this right now, like going back and forth in the Hulk's head. Maybe it's his head, it feels a bit small to me. Or a bit uh, too big like he doesn't look as thick as, as I would like him to look so that's up to you maybe maybe it is just making the head smaller but it's not too bad it's not too bad so maybe I will go with this now before you render you might if it's up to you if you want to go ahead and add things like veins and things of that nature it will come down I sometimes would rough them in just so I have an idea of how I want the veins to look I might bring this arm out just a bit. It's 
So I'm gonna make his mouth a little bit wider so it's more, more yelling. Okay, so that is my layout of the Hulk. So you can see right there, oh, he did it right there. Not bad, not bad at all. So I'm actually excited for the second part. So there you have it. This is how I construct my Hulk gladiator piece. And this is how it is right now. So on to the next video, which is basic inking, which unfortunately is nothing but basic, okay? <laughs> the next video is actually the longest video out of the whole series. It's pretty much an hour long. But uh, it's all in real time. It's all in real time. I was looking at it, uh, looking at things I could speed up. Uh, but it is great for you to follow along. So I suggest to you, when you go watch that video, go to the bathroom first, okay? <laughs> have a snack, have a drink of water ready for you, ready with you, and see if you could follow along. Sit down for an hour and draw with me because uh, even though I did the construction parts, so the construction part I don't have to worry too much about. Uh, what, you know, it's just those fine little details that I go over. Now, I was thinking about maybe speeding the whole thing up, but then after a second glance, I thought to myself, well, you know, why don't, uh, I'll just leave it whole as it is, so hopefully you guys will be able to follow along. Or worst comes to worst, just clean up this drawing yourself, however you like it, and then move on to the third video where I talk more about the rendering and the lighting, okay, if you want to do that. But if you are interested in uh, seeing how I clean this drawing up, uh, things like the veins on the neck, I don't really talk about in the construction. You know, different segments of the muscles, I don't really talk about uh, um, in the construction. So if you want to learn more about that, check out that video, uh, Basic Inking. Okay, it's really long, it's about an hour, but hopefully it's worth it. And then after that, part three, where I talk about lighting and rendering, which is probably about the same length of this video. But thank you guys for watching my tutorials. I'm finding better ways to optimize these things, so hopefully they'll get better in the future but I really appreciate you following along I appreciate you guys willing to work to uh, learn from me that uh, you find my me worthy of teaching you how to draw so I would love to see your drawings at the end of the day once you're done all three videos or whatever how many videos I would love to see your drawings tweet them to me at box office artist please also follow me on all social media Twitter snapchat Instagram at box office artist facebook.com slash the box office artist check out the box office artist podcast on on your favorite podcast Podcatcher, go check that out right now. And uh, if you leave a comment down below, if you comment down below, any questions you have, comment down below and I will actually answer them on my show on my second channel, youtube.com slash James Ray's on the James Ray Show. That's where is where I answer all of your comments that you leave on all of my videos. So leave a comment and I will answer your questions. Until then, on to the next video, on to the next tutorial. My name is James. I am the box office artist. I'm here to say keep drawing. And I'll see you all next time.